This video will take you on a journey through the ancient world, where we will look at literary masterpieces that have stood the test of time. From the Mesopotamian epic written more than 4,000 years ago, telling the story of the legendary King Gilgamesh and his quest for immortality, to the Greek classics written by Homer, which depict the Trojan War and the adventures of Odysseus, these epic tales have been passed down from generation to generation and have had a huge impact on Western literature. We will also delve into ancient Indian literature, beginning with a religious text offering wisdom and guidance to self-knowledge and the path to enlightenment. We will also delve into one of Hinduism's oldest sacred texts to gain insight into the spiritual and philosophical beliefs of ancient India. Finally, we will dive into the Chinese classics with the teachings, talks, and sayings of the ancient Chinese philosopher Confucius. The text reveals valuable information about the moral and ethical principles of ancient China. These works are symbols of their respective ancient cultures and have had a lasting impact on the world. Stay until the end of the video to delve deep into the rich history and wisdom of these timeless classics. The Epic of Gilgamesh, written around 2100 BC in Mesopotamia. The Epic of Gilgamesh is an epic poem written in ancient Mesopotamia, probably around 2100 BC. It is one of the oldest surviving literary works in the world. It was written in the ancient Akkadian language and tells the story of the king of Uruk, Gilgamesh, who is part god, part mortal. The epic traces his journey in search of the knowledge of eternal life and the meaning of life and death. The work begins with the introduction of Gilgamesh as a powerful and ambitious king who is deeply troubled by the thought of his destruction. He sets out on a journey to find the sage Utnapishtim, who is said to have been granted eternal life by the gods. Along the way, he faces many challenges and obstacles, including a battle with the giant Humbaba, as well as a journey to the cedar forest where he hopes to find Utnapishtim. During his journey, Gilgamesh meets and befriends a man named Enkidnu. Together they embark on many adventures, including a battle with the Bull of Heaven, sent by the goddess Ishtar to punish Gilgamesh for rejecting her advances. Eventually, Enkidnu dies, causing Gilgamesh to reflect on the fragility of life and the inevitability of death. However, Gilgamesh finds Utnapishtim, who tells him the story of the Great Flood and how he received eternal life. However, Gilgamesh never discovers the secret of eternal life and returns home, realizing that the true purpose of life is to make a lasting impact through his deeds and to be remembered by future generations. The epic reflects many of the beliefs and values of ancient Mesopotamian society, including the belief in a pantheon of gods who controlled the natural world, the importance of kingship, and heroic deeds. It also deals with topics such as friendship, the loss of meaning and purpose in life, and, accordingly, the search for them. Many versions and fragments of the epic have been found translated into different languages. Today, it is considered a masterpiece of world literature. Iliad and Odyssey Written around 800 BC by Homer in Greece. The Iliad and the Odyssey are two of the most significant and influential ancient Greek epic poems written around 800 BC by the poet Homer. The Iliad focuses on the last days of the Trojan War and the adventures of the hero Achilles, while being a poem that recounts the adventures of Odysseus during his ten-year journey home after. The Iliad gives us an insight into the last days of the Trojan War and the war between Achilles' city, Mycenae, and the city of Troy. At the center of the poem is precisely Achilles, who is the main character and protagonist of Mycenae and its warriors. The work describes his heroic deeds and adventures, and this also includes the woman with whom he had relations and his closest companion and friend, in some sources even his relative, Patroclus. In ancient scriptures, we find accounts of the gods' involvement in war and their manipulation of events for their benefit. On the other hand, the Odyssey tells the story of Odysseus and his struggle to return home after the Trojan War. The poem details his encounters with monsters, witches, gods, and his long journey home, accompanied by the challenges he faces from suitors trying to win the hand of his wife Penelope. 
In Odyssey is also told about the son of Odysseus, Telemachus. His journey to find his father is described. The epic follows how he matures during this process. Both works are incredibly moving and dramatic. They are filled with very interesting characters, gods, and mythological plots. They are an extremely important part of ancient Greek literature and culture, and have significance not only for Greece, but for the world as a whole. Even today, they are the subject of study, research, and interpretation in many fields such as literature, history, archaeology, and cultural studies. Immerse yourself in the exciting world of ancient Greek and Roman mythology, where gods and heroes are born to fight for power. Get to know the stories and legends of both cultures. In our channel, you will find a video that will explain and compare the mythology of ancient Greece and Rome. Bhagavad Gita, written around 200 BC in India. The Bhagavad Gita, or translated from Sanskrit, the Song of God, is a Hindu scripture that is considered one of the most important texts in ancient Indian literature. It is a poem of 701 stanzas that is part of the Hindu epic Mahabharata, believed to have been written around 200 BC in India. The Bhagavad Gita narrates the dialogue between the warrior prince Arjuna and Lord Krishna, who is an incarnation of the Hindu god Vishnu. The dialogue takes place on the battlefield before the start of the Kurukshetra War. Arjuna hesitates about whether to fight his relatives and friends, so he turns to Lord Krishna for guidance. Then he explains to him about the nature of reality, the purpose of life, and the meaning of duty, action, and devotion. During the conversation, Lord Krishna presents Arjuna with the spiritual wisdom of the Bhagavad Gita, which is said to be the essence of Vedic knowledge. The Gita is considered to be one of the most important texts in Hinduism and is considered a spiritual manual for people of all backgrounds. The text is held sacred by many Hindu traditions and is widely studied for its insights into the nature of reality, self-knowledge, and the meaning of life. His teachings are considered timeless and universal, and his message is still extremely relevant to the modern world. It is accepted as a guide on the path of self-realization, self-knowledge, and self-integration. His teachings are based on the principles of karma, dharma, and bhakti yoga. The work is said to be a book of devotion, action, and knowledge. The Bhagavad Gita is widely read and studied by scholars, spiritual seekers, and people of all backgrounds. It is regarded as an important text in the field of comparative religion. The work continues to be a powerful source of inspiration and guidance for people around the world. Annals of Confucius written around 400 BC in China. The Annals of Confucius is a collection of sayings, conversations, and dialogues attributed to the Chinese philosopher Confucius. It is believed to be one of the most important texts in Chinese philosophy and was written around 400 BC. The Annals are a record of Confucius' words and deeds, covering a wide range of topics, including politics, morals, education, and relationships. The teachings of Confucius focused on the cultivation of virtues and the development of character through self-cultivation and the study of the past. It emphasizes the importance of education and the need to be good people by following the principles of benevolence, righteousness, decency, and wisdom. He believed that proper conduct and mutual respect within the five relationships – ruler-subject, father-son, elder-younger brother, husband-wife, and between friends – were essential to the harmony and stability of society. The Annals talk about the importance of setting an example and about the need for a ruler to be virtuous and morally pure to be a good leader. It also emphasizes the importance of the individual's role in society and the need to work for the greater good. Confucius believed that if people followed these principles, society would be harmonious and stable. The Annals are considered an important, classic text in Confucianism and continue to be widely studied in the Chinese-speaking world today. He had a strong influence on Chinese culture and played an important role in the formation of Chinese philosophy, politics, and education. Rig Veda, written about 1500 BC in India. The Rig Veda is a collection of hymns and religious texts that is considered one of the most important in ancient Indian literature. It is believed to have been written around 1500 BC in India and is sacred to Hinduism. 
The work contains more than a thousand hymns divided into ten books and is said to be the oldest of the four sacred Hindu texts known as the Vedas. Hymns were composed by different poets and passed down orally for many generations before they were finally written down. They are addressed to various deities, including Agni, Soma, and Yusha, who are considered powerful forces in the natural world. They also contain references to rituals and sacrifices that were performed in ancient India. The Rig Veda is considered a complex and varied text covering a wide range of topics, including cosmology, mythology, and ethics. The hymns it contain express the idea of the unity of the divine, the importance of ritual, and the need for devotion and discipline to achieve spiritual knowledge. Some contain descriptions of the natural world, such as rivers, mountains, and skies. They express a deep sense of awe and reverence for the beauty and power of the natural world. The Rig Veda is considered a sacred text by many Hindu traditions. Today, it continues to be widely studied and admired for its insights. Hymns are believed to contain secret knowledge, and by studying and reciting them, one can attain spiritual enlightenment. The Rig Veda continues to be an important text for scholars, spiritual seekers, and people from all walks of life, especially those related to comparative religions. Traveling back in time to explore the ancient texts of our ancestors reminds us of the enduring power of storytelling and wisdom passed down through the ages. These texts offer insight into the beliefs, values, and culture of ancient civilizations, continuing to inspire and educate readers even today. If you wish to delve deeper into the world of ancient literature, be sure to revisit our channel for more fascinating stories and insights. Support us by subscribing to the channel and sharing this video.